Spiritual Life Practice Community. All right. Let's come to stand at the front of your yoga mat. And you can anchor down through the soles of the feet. Rest the hands alongside the hips. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Another big breath in. Another big breath out. And as you arrive in this moment, can you tune into this moment? Can you check into this moment? Feel what is going on with you. and set an intention of how you want to go about your day. And maybe it's to move with mindfulness, whatever works for you. Let's take one more breath in total stillness. And then we're going to do a half sun salutation. So inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, come into a fold. Taking an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And then exhale the palms at heart center. And can you do this flow two more times on your own breath? Eventually, we'll all meet up with our hands at heart center, standing at the top of our mat. And then we'll add on, I'm going to show you the next one. So you're going to inhale arms up towards the sky. We're going to practice Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower, plant the palms, step your feet all the way back, move through a chaturanga, so lower down, lift the heart. Come up to your down dog, step your feet in. And then we'll just take five breaths here. And then back through the knees, gaze forward, step the feet up to meet the hands. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Take an exhale, fold. 
And then inhale the arms all the way up. And then exhale the palms into heart center. All right, let's follow through with that two more times. Move with your own breath. Don't worry if you mess it up. It's just about moving the body and feeling good. And then the knees gaze forward. Oh, sorry, you're doing this on your own. <laughs> Don't listen to me. So we'll all end up standing at the front of the mat. No rush to get there. Take your time. Take an inhale, draw the right knee up. So you're standing on the left foot, your right knee is lifting up. And then tilt your body forward, extend your heart forward, lengthen the right leg behind you, beautiful. Keep the right hip level with the left. Pressing down through the left big toe, holding here for a few breaths. And then step the right foot all the way back. Find your body in a warrior, or sorry, crescent lunge. Keep your body lifted. Keep your left right heel lifted, take a breath in. And then let's see how it would feel to rotate and land the right elbow onto the left knee, gaze over the left shoulder. Good, take one more inhale, one more exhale. And then gently unwind, come all the way up, land the right heel, land the left foot, open the left arm, and then just stay into a warrior two. Reverse the warrior, land the right palm, lift the left arm up, breathe into the left side rib cage. And then lift all the way up, lengthen through the left leg, reach the left arm forward, left arm clocks alongside left calf. Let's shift weight onto the left foot, left fingertips. Lift the right leg, lift the right arm.
holding here for three. Good, two. And then on one, just step the right foot all the way up to meet the left. And then bring the palms into heart center. Leave the right foot where it is, lift the left knee up. Tilt the heart forward as the left leg extends behind. Step the left foot all the way back. Find a crescent lunge, inhale, lift at the elbows. Exhale, rotate, left elbow onto right knee, gaze along the right shoulder behind you. Open all the way up, land the left heel, extend the left arm, the right arm, Stay deep in the bend in the right knee. Just take a few breaths. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Breathe into the right side body. Land the right elbow. Lift the left fingertips up overhead. And then press through both feet, lift up, lengthen through the right leg, shorten the stance, reach the right fingertips forward, right arm lands alongside the right calf, lift the left arm up. Trust weight onto the right foot, right fingertips, lift into the half moon just for three, two, Nice work. And then one, come all the way up to stand, land both feet. Let's take the palms up overhead, interlace the palms, release the index finger and thumb. And then we're just gonna take a breath in, lengthen, and then lean the heart backwards, lifting up. This is just a standing back bend. Try to keep your chin tucked, your Dalandara Bandha, chin to chest lock. Just leaning back ever so slightly. And then lift all the way up. Take the palms back into heart center. Give yourself about 10 breaths on either side to choose a balancing pose. You could do dancer, you could do warrior three, you could do half moon. I'm gonna lead you through Vrikshasana tree, a really simple pose if you wanna join me. We're gonna leave the left foot where it is. Open up the right knee to the side. Land the right foot on the inside of the ankle or maybe the calf, maybe up to the thigh. And just place the palms at the heart center, taking 10 breaths. One more inhale, one more exhale. And then just land the right foot and then we'll switch it up the opposite way.
And then lay on the left foot. Come all the way to the front of the mat. Let's do one more Surya Namaskar and then make our way just stay in a down dog. So inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms forward. Breathe the halfway lift. Lengthen through the fingertips. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale back down. Step back to a plank. Move through a vinyasa flow. Lowering down. Lifting the heart. Coming all the way up and back to a down dog. And then from the down dog, let's take the right leg up. And we're going to pull the right knee in. Lay the right shin across the width of the mat. Wiggle the left knee back, taking an inhale. And then drop down into your pigeon. So this week we're practicing niyamas. And the niyamas of yoga are like the internal commitments. And today we're practicing niyama one, which is purity or cleansing. So the second sutra Concerning Saucha speaks to the energetic experience of purifying and cleansing. We practice Saucha and we become happy. Eric Schiffman has written that as we deepen our yoga practice, we become happy for no apparent reason. And to experience progress on this path is to become happy for no apparent reason. As we fundamentally change the way we move through our days. In fact, our lives change so radically that we forget why it was we were unhappy in the first place. Our newfound happiness has appeared to be for no reason. And in truth, we are happy because we have applied the principles of yoga to our lives. Let's come up onto the hands. Lift all the way up to a down dog. And then step into pigeon the opposite way. So lift the left leg up, pull the left knee in. Lay the left shin across the width of the mat. Go the right knee back. So when I first began to understand the principles of yoga and examine my thoughts from this new perspective, I realized that I already had a fully formed philosophy of life. And unfortunately, my philosophy was a hodgepodge of overheard conversations, mistaken briefs, rantings of people in pain, TV ads, media propaganda, and so on. Garbage in, garbage out. My life was a reflection of all the thoughts I allowed to dominate my mind as I moved through my days. And the script was quite miserable. Here are a few highlights. I am defined by my gender, my race and accomplishments. There will always be people whose lives are better than mine. I am deeply ashamed of who I have been and I have to conceal my real self from you. You'll like me if I'm impressive. Any of that sound familiar? So if we are to find lasting happiness, we must not only clean up our rooms, but clean up our thoughts as well. Take another breath. And then we're gonna roll onto our left bottom and come all the way up. Coming into a crisscross. And then let's inhale, lift our arms all the way up. And then just rotate over to the right, land the left palm, land the right fingertips behind. Drop the right earlobe 
down toward the right shoulder, so you're getting a little bit of a trap stretch. So fortunately, that is precisely what the practice of yoga is all about. To begin, we let go, we let go of our thoughts, our old scripts, our expectations, our darkness. We let go. The solution is not to fight, but you just let go. We let go of everything, we hold on to nothing. And over and over again, on the mat and off the mat, we let go. Take our arms all the way up, big breath in. And then rotate the other way. You can drop the left earlobe down towards the left shoulder. So this letting go, it's like a purification. We let go and it's like dropping a pebble into the pond, the ripples slowly growing to encompass every waking moment. In our letting go, we create an emptiness. It's the space that health and grace will move into. Begin to live with a, a joyful awareness. Lift up the arms all the way up, big breath in, extension. Pull the palms into the heart center. We'll spend a few moments together here just anchoring our breath to prepare us for the rest of the day. We can come back to our breath at any time throughout the day when we feel overwhelmed, upset, or hurt. The breath is always here. Ishka, 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 
Breath in and then a deep breath out. Finishing our practice with the intention that the practice remains steady and our efforts continuous, and that our yoga serves and benefits and helps and heals all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe and happy and healthy and free and made with thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. And then we'll just finish with an ohm sound, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and make the ohm. So taking a breath in, breath out, breath in. Thank you so much for joining me, for sharing this space in the practice, the light in me, it's season and honor, it's the light in you, namaste.